welcome to all of you uh, to national science day 2021 my name is lalit patel and i am a phd research scholar in physics at iit gandhi nagar owing to the current covid pandemic this event is being organized virtually by aipa pune in this video i am going to talk about the first cw gravitational wave event uh, gw 150940 now before discussing the event itself uh, let me first talk about what a black hole is and a black hole is a place in space where the gravity is so strong that even light can't escape its pull most of the black holes are made when a massive star dies not every star ends up being a black hole for instance our own star sun could become a red giant in the last stages of its lifetime the left picture in the slide shows how a black hole with an accretion disk might look like the accretion disk is nothing but a matter like plasma gases dust particles like in orbit around a black hole and due to friction it spirals inward towards the center of the black hole so you can see in the picture is spiraling in because the uh, black hole is also rotating so matter is also rotating with each other and because of this friction it's spiraling into the center of the black hole on the right uh, we have a binary black hole system which as the name suggests consists of two black holes in orbit around each other and in in close orbit such systems uh, radiate energy through gravitational waves and their orbit keep shrinking this process continues until they collide and become a larger black hole now let us talk about the event the event gw 150940 was detected on 14 september 2015 by two ligo detectors one in hanford washington and other in livingston louisiana both in united states if you look carefully Uh, the event is named after detection day read from the right 14 september 2015 gw 50940 it was created by the merger of two black holes of 36 and 29 solar masses each in a galaxy 1.3 billion years light years away 1.3 billion light years away the maximum strain observed was 10 to the energy power minus 21 which amounts to changing the distance between the earth and the sun by the length of an atom just imagine how small that is in the left picture three phases of the event are shown the first one is the spiral when they are orbiting around each other and then they slowly go to the second stage where they merge before coming to the third phase called ring down where uh, the final black hole radiates gravitational waves in various energy modes just like a damn harmonic oscillator now as far as the ligo detectors are concerned as you can see in the left picture The LIGO is a pair of two interferometers, uh, each of which has two four kilometers long arm. It was co-founded by um, in 1992 as a joint project um, between scientists at MIT, Caltech, and um, many other institutions worldwide. LIGO scientific collaboration includes more than thousand scientists working worldwide. Initial LIGO operations between 2002 and 2010 couldn't detect gravitational wave, but finally detected it in 2015. Uh, when advanced ligo began its first formal science operation with enhanced sensitivity on the right you can see the gravitational wave signal uh, shown in the blue shown in the red sorry uh, buried in the massive noise shown in the blue the noise from various sources like instruments and surroundings like terrestrial sources seismic sources like that is much louder than the signal itself okay so high performance computers employ advanced mathematical techniques to identify signals buried in deep in the noise to give you a quantitative idea of how complex uh, and expensive these calculations are the calculation required to confirm gw 150914 was worth 50 million cpu year implying that a normal desktop ordinary laptop and desktop would have taken 1000 years to do the same calculation just imagine how that number looks like it's huge so now uh, apart from the these two detectors in the us we have some other detectors which have either been constructed and commissioned or been planned so as you can see in the picture more detectors are handy in detecting gravitational waves across a frequency range from different sources and the sources are given in the picture shown in the picture so it also helps in not only helps in doing so it also helps in better localization of the source in the source of the gravitational wave in the sky 
To conclude the video, I would like to specially mention the LIGO India, a grand science project coming up in Maharashtra that would help the global efforts um, to detect gravitational waves, unravel and unravel the deep mysteries of the universe, uh, but also inculcate a culture of scientific temperament among Indians. Thank you for watching this video.